Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach, and it is fantastic to have you with me today. We are going to be speaking about narcissists again and how they are like chameleons. In my book, Who Are You Beneath the Pain? I kind of unpack this a little bit, and so I'm going to quote a bit from my book if you are interested in it. Please don't forget to get it from Amazon or come on over to the uh, Emotional Resilience Coach page on Instagram and I will guide you from there. So the thing with narcissists and why they blindside us and why they are so good at getting under our skin is narcissists can be appealing, warm, fun, and understanding, and they will have you believe that they get you like no one else, right? They will have you believe that the bond you have with them is like nothing else in this world because only they understand you. They mimic you and your likes to create a bond so that you feel connected. Yet none of it is really true because they don't really know who they are. When they move on, and they generally do, to their new person, you will see them, like a chameleon, take on this new person's likes and dislikes too. Things that they would have said, oh no, I would never watch that, or I would not listen to that, or I won't go to that place, or I'll never do that, or they have figured you out, and they want to link with you, and now they've got somebody else, and so because they don't know who they are, they've changed, and now they're linking with this person. They will be different to what you knew, and that is why you will never be believed. They are just so nice. They know how to be warm and likable, and in some cases, rather charismatic. They know how to work people. Their charm had you convinced at some stage, and during the love bombing phase, you would never have believed a word said against them. The herd will be thinned out, and you may even find yourself isolated from the very people you had thought loved you and had your back. What they have experienced and what you have gone through will not tie up, and you'll be dismissed as a troublemaker, jealous, and yes, even delusional. All right, because the person they now know is so in sync with them, is so bonded to them, they have the same likes, they have the same dislikes, that when you speak and you listen, or even if you just observe from a distance, it'll leave you confused. And you will say, I didn't know this person. This is not the person I knew. Or something else that has come up a lot for a lot of my um, clients is that what will happen is a narcissist will know that you really want something or they'll know that you really like something or they'll know that you really want them to do something and they'll never do it for or with you but when they feel like they are losing or have lost uh, control over you what they'll do is all the things you wanted all the things you wanted to see all the things you wanted to experience will now look like they're doing it for this other person and they do this to just make you enraged, make you jealous, to hurt you, push those buttons, really know how to get to them. Um, this is something that they are really good at doing. Uh, one poor girl was accused of dividing a family because the narcissist made them choose sides but told them it was because of her, right? So the narcissist came into the family, caused a lot of pain, caused a lot of ha havoc. Uh, they married into the family and what they did is they made her look like she was the one that was going crazy, that she was the one that was dividing. Everything that the narcissist was doing, they planted on her and uh, put people in a position where they felt like they needed to choose. Because again, as a chameleon, the narcissist is what they believe you feel you need, right? They will show up in ways that resonates. They will say all the right things, do all the right things, 
They will connect with you in ways, and they're really good at doing this with everybody. They spend time with people, they get to know people, they're really good at reading people, and they will basically feed into people's needs so that people look at them and they think, but they're so amazing, they're so great. I don't know how you could say that. Like, they really get me. They really understand where I'm coming from. They really understand me and understand my pain. And they see me and they just know things like other people don't and they understand because it, they are chameleons. They're really, really good at mimicking. And that mimicking is what helps form this bond, this connection. And this is why when it's all over and everything is ended, people spin in absolute confusion. They don't understand what happened. They don't understand what is happening. They don't understand who this new person is. They don't understand why people don't believe them. They don't understand how they got so duped, how they got drawn in. And it's because a narcissist is really, really just on another level good at playing the game and getting people onto their side. Often what happens is after a while they get lazy, the mask drops and people get glimpses here and there because it's really difficult to keep the charade up all the time. And But sometimes that can be literally years before somebody is able to see something or they're just tired or they're just not in the mood or they're irritable. Um, in my home with my stepfather, it was not known by many, many people. And every now and again, someone would get a glimpse, but it was every now and again. For most of my life, people thought that I was crazy, that my mother was crazy, that we were making up stories, that we were, we were the ones looking for attention because we weren't believed. Narcissists are really, really good at doing this. And so when you see this happening, just think chameleon, right? A narcissist is a chameleon. They adapt to their surroundings, to the people, and they show up and say and do what they believe is going to get people on their side. Have people believe them over you. It's really difficult. It's really messy. It's really sticky. It's really, really heartbreaking. Um, I go on to say narcissists are master manipulators and you will not win that game. They have secret lives and they lie effortlessly. They are all about keeping up appearances and saving face. There were many years, as I said, that my mother and I lived under a shroud of darkness and public fake smiles. We became masters at smiling even when our hearts were breaking. Many a luncheon with my stepfather's parents would be met with charm and smiles and frivolity, only to have the darkness descend back upon us like a heavy blanket when we climbed into the car, closed the doors, and drove away in deathly silence. The charade would end, nausea creeping up my stomach, burning the top of my throat, bubbling and festering inside of me as I tried to push the bile down again. I would scream silently in my head, what is going on? Why is he like this? What is wrong with him? As I got older, I felt the weight of what it was to grow up with the living, breathing, chaotically tumultuous Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. From day to day, you do not know who you are going to get which persona was going to make their appearance that day. And when we were lucky enough for it to be the nice guy, how long was he going to hang around for? We lived in fear of who or what was going to set him off. We were always waiting in hypervigilance for the other shoe to drop. It was like living in a horror movie. Our hearts were always beating and adrenaline was always coursing through our veins. All right, this is why I say nothing is real with them because you don't know what is real with them. I don't believe that a narcissist necessarily knows what is real with them. All they know to do is how to adapt to survive. And part of their survival, because they can't do it for themselves, is to make sure that everybody else around them feeds their ego and believes that they are wonderful. All right. This is just a very snippet 
um, from my brief snippet from my book, Who Are You Beneath the Pain, that speaks to what it is when you have been in a very hard, very tumultuous, very soul-destroying relationship with a narcissist. If this resonates, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the notifications button. Come on over to Michelle at the Emotional Resilience Coach. Say hey to me there. It's just Emotional Resilience Coach, but my name is Michelle. Uh, leave me a message, DM me in the comments here, in there, if there's anything you want clarity on, if there's anything you want me to expand upon. Take a deep breath with me. Know that you are doing an amazing job. Have your own back. Healing is hard, but you are doing better than you realize. Go on, have a most empowered day.